All right, everyone, welcome. My name is Cliff, and this is Shit I'd Never Tell My Parents, a Mud Magazine podcast. For more information, check us out on the Mud Magazine. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we have a reoccurring guest, the Ali Cardino. Um, we're going to be talking about Tinder, do and don'ts, how to text people online, what's flirting, how to go about it, and how to tell if someone's into you. So, Allie, how does it feel to be back on the show? Two-time um, yes, guest. Yes. And, um... I'm very excited. Yeah, very excited. <laughs> All right, well, let's waste no time and get right into it. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is Tinder do and don'ts. And Allie is no shy to Tinder, I would say. She used to be on Tinder a lot before she got a boyfriend. But... <laughs> She has some good stories, and I think where we're going to start here is with the Tinder do and don'ts. So why don't you give us your do's first, and then and then we'll go from there. Okay, so like Cliff said, I've definitely been on some dating apps. I've done Tinder, Bumble, but that's about it. I haven't been on Hinge yet, but you know, we'll see where the future goes. I've never even heard of that. Oh, really? No. Hey, that's a good one. Okay, so some of my do's are... To have a sense of humor because no one really likes dry people ever. And always link your Insta because I'm a stalker. So I want to see your Instagram and I want to see what you're doing. Do people actually follow you on Instagram? Like from Tinder and stuff like that? I mean, I'm a public person on Instagram. So I have a lot of random followers. I mean, they probably did come from Tinder or Bumble or something. I would assume. Yeah, they probably did. Okay, so check your spelling, because grammar is everything, and like have a bio. If you don't have a bio, even if you look really good, I'm not going to swipe right, because it doesn't Is that really anything. that important, having a bio on Tinder? Yes. So well, like, I, what do you say in the bio? Like, what, like when, when a guy's on Tinder, and like you're scrolling through, or like when you used to scroll through, and you see someone, and they're like, oh. wow, like that bio really pops out at me, because like they're doing this. Okay, so I still have the app, obviously, because when I get bored, I go on. So this one guy's bio, his name is Eric, and this is on Bumble. They give you a question saying, the person slash thing that holds me the most accountable. And then he answered it with, I'm an accountant, so I'm always able to account. I just thought that was funny. That's part of his bio. Is that dumb? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit dumb. <laughs> Thought like, it. the stuff I'm going to see on Tinder is really cheesy. So, like, it's, like, kind of, like, at the end of the day, like, it's kind of funny when you're strolling through, like, oh, I guess I'll, I'll swipe right on that person because they it's funny. Okay, and then another guy's bio, his name is Cole. His bio said, 6'3 on a good day, 5'10 every other day. And I thought that was also super funny. Yeah, that is kind of funny. So, I guess you kind of are looking for things that, like, pop out at you, really. Yeah, and his bio also put in, like, not looking for hookups, just looking for my dad. <laughs> That's another <laughs> funny thing. But also to... Just looking for my dad? But this yeah. is from a guy's point of view? <laughs> yeah, he wrote, 6 through on a good day, five ten every other day. Not looking for hookups, just looking for my dad. <laughs> interesting that's something funny that is kind of funny it's a little you have to be funny you have to stick out you have to put in something weird or no one's i mean not weird i mean i'm a weirdo so i liked it i swiped right on both these guys and i talked to both of them so what's like the what's like the weird things that people will say on tinder or like say in their bios or something like that oh i mean the things i think you shouldn't say in your bio are oh i don't like any like illegal substances so like when i see 420 friendly i just think that's so stupid and that's like an automatic swipe left why i just that's not my thing okay i don't like it i don't think anyone uh, this, I just so no stoners attract. no okay. stoners for no me, stoners yeah. okay so why don't we get into the story that you have because you were telling me a little bit about this guy kyle who who i guess he slid into your tinder bot dm or whatever or something like that i don't know yeah how you have works. you have to swipe okay so he swiped right on you to match. i was never really big on tinder to be honest so he matched with you on tinder and what what happened from there Okay, so I guess this is one of the don'ts, which Kyle shouldn't have done. I talked to Kyle for over a month, and we never met in person. That's a long time That's to a long talk time. to someone and never and meet And did them. you, were you just talking on the Tinder app, or was it like, like Snapchat? Yeah, so text? we talked in the app, and then he obviously asked for my Snapchat. I gave it to him. We snapped for a bit. I'm not that big on Snapchat. Well, I, not anymore. I am when I need to be. Um, so we also have each other's numbers. So we talked in the app for a very long time, then over Snapchat, and then over text. And I think this is like one of my don'ts for 
Kyle, if you're talking to someone for more than like a week and you haven't made a plan to like meet up or anything, like it's just kind of gonna be a dead end. I mean, for him, I didn't really give him a fair shot just because I was also talking to my ex-boyfriend who was more important at the time to me. So I didn't go out with him, but this is a, a don't. If you are gonna meet up with a person on Tinder, don't be drunk as hell. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the story with Kyle. So, like I said, we've only talked for a month, and we were supposed to meet up at Stonebridge, right? For people that don't know <laughs> that, the Stonebridge is like a bar like 15 minutes away from uh, Sacred Heart, where Allie and I go to school. So, we're supposed to meet up at Stonebridge. He yeah. doesn't go to our school, but he goes, I, he actually works in Fairfield. So, he's out of college. Yeah. How old is this guy? He's 24. Okay, so he's not that much older than us. No, no. Okay. Go, he's good. So, anyway, this day... I go to a darty during the day. I am obviously, I do what I do. I drink all my vodka, good to go. I come home to, you know, relax, maybe eat dinner. Don't eat dinner because I didn't. I just had another claw or two. I get dressed up to go out to the bar and I am way drunker than I should be. And I haven't been on my phone, so I haven't been texting Kyle back. Thank God. Because he texted me that him and his friends went to a different bar that night and so I couldn't see him. But I couldn't even stand up. So God forbid if he showed up and he saw me like that, he probably would never talk to me again. So that's a don't. Don't be drunk on a date. But don't be drunk on Tinder dates. <laughs> that's the one thing. Okay. I guess that's a good note though. Because like you never know where like, like these people are pretty random. And you never know like who you're going to meet on Tinder, right? Which is kind yes. of the sketchy thing about it, right? Like, I think so. Because this person could really be like catfish. Like That's you, why I say yeah. like link your bio. And like obviously I did my research on him. I found out where he worked. But he told me where he worked. So I looked him up. I got him on yeah. LinkedIn. Like mm -hmm. I found it. I knew everything about Kyle. Okay. So so why don't we get into this other story? So Ali has like a couple like Tinder stories for people that don't know. And <laughs> and we're, we're about to get into... I don't really know how to explain what we're about to get into. You but won't say it's a scam. It's Is that like the word? almost a scam. But it's not like a almost, scam. <laughs> it's like almost a scam, but like, all right, why don't you just explain it? Because for people that don't know, like there, there's different ways to make money out there and it doesn't have to be a normal job. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh God. Okay. So me being me, I put in my Tinder bio, just my Venmo account. No, no words, just my Venmo account. So it's just my pictures and then... Venmo account is whatever it is. I don't know. And then my age range was like from the lowest you can go to the highest you can go. And my mile so radius. Like 80 year olds. Yeah, I think, I think it's 50. I think you have to be like 50 <laughs> years old to be on. It's a good tip it. for people if you're ever like low on cash or something. Just throw, well, your, throw your Venmo uh, a tag in your bio. And so my mile radius was zero miles to 50 miles, which is the highest because yeah. I guess Tinder just loves 50. So you're probably getting people from like New York and Wall Street and shit like that. I guess. Yeah. I would just have the Tinder bio with the account number, or not number, username, and then people, I would just get random amounts of money sent to me. Like someone would give me $5, $10, $50, and it would just rack up. I would never have to talk to any of these people. Oh, I also said it to boys and girls. So I was getting everybody. <laughs> like, and I wouldn't even have to be on Tinder. That's kind of weird. Did you ever get like Venmo requests from girls? Or like that send Venmo? No. Girls? Girls, no. girls are smart. Yeah. Girls wouldn't do that. Well, guys They're, are pretty stupid. So. Guys are so dumb. Yeah. So people would send me all this money and uh, that's how I went grocery shopping. Or I would then get sushi for me and my boyfriend. That's how we spent Well, like it's a little more into that though, like right? Didn't sometimes you have to talk to the guys before you got money? No, I didn't know who they were. But they wouldn't just send you money like out of the blue. Yes, they do. No, They're they freaking don't. freaks. They wouldn't, they wouldn't like, like, I you like wouldn't swipe right on some it. of them and then, like, they would be like, oh, like, send me a pic for like 100 bucks. God, no, I wouldn't do that. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. But you could if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm I know sure people, there are people who do that. that do, honestly, <laughs> that's kind of crazy how, like, guys are just willing to throw around cash for no reason. I mean, if you have it, I feel like $100 is nothing if you have money. Yeah, donate to a fucking charity or some shit. No, I <laughs> I'm, the charity. I'm the You're charity. I'm the charity. You're not a fucking charity. Get out of here. All right. But you do get banned off Tinder once you do that because I can't. So you did get banned. Yeah, I'm unbanned. Oh, and then, so you're not on Tinder anymore. No, I got banned. Oh. But, and I have well, that's when you go to the season. next dating app, I guess. Yes. Yeah, so if you do put your Venmo account in your Tinder, you will get banned. And I told our friend, can I say her name or no? If you want. Sophia's Little. Okay, yeah. I told her to do it. 
And she put our Venmo account in her bio. And she was getting money. And she got too. banned within two days. It <laughs> so sounds like they're catching on to this. It's, yeah, they're catching People on. People definitely got scammed. That's why. That's why. That's definitely why. All right. So I kind of want to transition into the, like a little bit how texting is kind of outdated now. Like I feel like. Ellie, like you, you probably know from like previous, like before you had a boyfriend, how like when you meet someone at a bar or something, it's never yeah, like, oh, like, here's let me, my number. Yeah, like, let me get your number. It's kind of like, oh, let me get your snap now, right? So it's like, where do you go once you get that person's snap? How, how appropriate is it to snap them the next day or the next week? Like, what, what, what do you think is the appropriate timeline? I obviously wouldn't snap first because if honestly, I'm probably not interested into the guy. <laughs> so if you get someone Snapchat at a bar, you're not interested? I hate saying no. I feel so bad. And I feel like if I do say no, guys are so much more persistent. So you're just going to get gonna... someone Snapchat just because they're like, hey, what up? You know, I probably have so many guys Snapchat I believe, that I did. Like, I believe that you do. Like, I'm saying it's like... So like, uh, like you can't just be like, nah, I don't want, like, I'm not interested. No, I will never say that. So you're kind of leading them on a little bit. Yeah, and then they're gonna forget oh. about me in like the next two days. Interesting. But what? Okay, for if you did meet a guy at a bar or something like that that you liked, how long after you met him would you Snapchat him? If he hasn't Snapchatted me within like the next day, I would honestly probably just wait three days. And I think that's like a kind of a rule. I feel like you do wait three days. So you wait three days and then when do you snap? Just like a good morning selfie. A good morning <laughs> selfie? I don't that, know. Like what do girls food. do? I feel like food, food or drink yeah. is a good combo starter. Like if I send food or something. Oh, like you're out like, like drinking like. like... Yeah, I can yeah. send a picture of what I'm drinking or like what I made for dinner. I feel like that always works. And then what happens if the guy snaps you first? Like what do you, what do you go from there? Depending on what he says. I mean... Sometimes I feel like Snapchat conversations are so back and forth. Pictures are so meaningless. Like it's just like your face. Yeah, or like, I know what you mean. Yeah. Like couch or something, you know. So you have like full on conversations. Like, I feel like a lot a of people like having conversations on Snap is more normal now. I'm not, I don't feel like that big into Snapchat. I do sometimes get people's numbers. If I like want to talk to them, I'll ask, like I'll get their number. I'll give my number out because I'm much rather text someone than snap do you think girls think rather text end. than snap depending on the girl i mean in like my immediate house like what's her face would absolutely not text someone she's a snapchat hoe she loves that one. Oh yeah yeah huge snapchat girl so snapchat only yeah yeah i don't think she texts I anyone see that. but like i know for god like guys i feel like definitely like snapchatting more just because texting, like... Because you guys well, hate giving effort? Well, no. It depends on the girl. Like, I think, like, if you really like the girl, you'll text the girl. Well, maybe when you're first starting out, like, you don't know if you like the girl yet. So you just, like, kind of Snapchat. And then you get to know them a little more. But I feel like starting out, like, guys only Snapchat until they start, like, to develop some feelings or something. Like, oh, maybe I can see this going somewhere. What do you think? I, I see that. I can see that. I think they also start texting as soon as they, like, make a plan to, like, meet up. Like... I would rather have, if like, I'm hey, going to meet up with you, bar, like yeah, I would you. want your number. Like, I feel like Snapchat. Also, I feel like my service always sucks for some reason. So I'm not getting Snapchats. I'm not sending Snapchats. Maybe I just need to turn my phone off and back <laughs> on. <laughs> That's probably what I need to do. Or <laughs> I don't know where I am. Or delete some of those Snapchats <laughs> in your phone. You probably have too many. That's why. So I just like, no, sometimes they just won't send. I probably, probably I think I have Sprint. That's not good. So I just, yeah, that's I'd rather horizon. text you. I'd rather text and like, I know it's going to go through. I know you're going to get yeah. it and you're going to see it and then we can meet up. I think when you like a girl, it's important to text her though. So that, I feel like that shows interest. Yes. I also, yeah. Snapchatting is just such a hassle for women because we always have to look good. Yeah, that that's sense? true because you're sending a photo of yourself every you time. You have yeah. to like put on like, I guess. And girls are always like, putting on filters and shit. Yeah. And I would, and if you Snapchat with a filter constantly, you look like, you look stupid. Yeah. If I'm Snapchatting definitely. someone with a filter on my face. Every time, because I don't have mascara on, I need fake eyelashes. I just dump, so I have to put on makeup. But I feel makeup. like the difference between Snapchat and texting is I feel like when you're Snapchatting a person, one, you don't have to open it right away, and you don't feel like you have to text back, like you have to reply right away, because they can see if you open it or not. Like texting, you could text someone and then see the message and not respond for like three hours, and I bet like girls in their head are like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> How no? long do you think it's okay to like wait? Like say I like someone for a Snapchat. Yeah, some someone Snapchats you. How long do you wait to open it? I like I think it's all relative if you like the girl or not. Yeah, and I also feel like sometimes you need to make the conversation last longer so you can't open it right away. Yeah, I would agree and with that then snap right away but also don't feel like it's okay to let the conversation like you're gonna forget what you said in mm -hmm. two hours 
It's gone. Oh, 100%. And that happens, I feel like, all the time. Even if you're talking to your friend, you forget anything you said. I think if you're in, like, a place where you and a girl are Snapchatting repetitively, like, if you send, like... Like, you send a snap, and then she responds within, like, three minutes, and then you respond in the next three minutes, and you keep doing that throughout the day. That's a lot of talking. That's a lot of talking, and, like, you two are definitely interested in each other, I would say. Right? Yes. So then, on the other hand, if you, like, snap a girl, and she doesn't respond for, like, ten hours. Yeah, that's not good. That's not looking good for you. (laughs) I would think she's she's definitely less interested. 100%. Right? Unless some girls just really don't like Snapchat, and I, I don't know if, like, that's true. I don't, I feel like I'm one of the few. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm one of the few who yeah. hate Snapchat. Like, I think there's definitely girls out there that just, like, don't like Snapchat because they don't want to send, like, photos of their face because they feel, like, maybe insecure or something. Or they, don't, or they don't have makeup on all the time or, like... Yes, I know that my friend who's a Snapchat hoe puts on makeup every day because she needs to. Because she has to Snapchat. Because she has to Snapchat people. And she, she has won't, to keep up. And then she won't send Snapchat so she's not makeup. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah it's got to be something else. What's like a hey? I'm like not interested. Snapchat. That's like a. I feel like that's, that's like, like a this. Key. That's the key. That's like no that's, words. Okay, so no words. Like if you ask a question, I just don't respond. Like to the the question. Yeah. Like I maybe just, like not a photo of your face all the time. Like you're just like sending like the ground or some shit. And if you're getting one Snapchat a day and it's the streaks that everyone else is getting. Yeah, that's true. That's just that's probably a big red flag too. I think there's like key signs that you kind of got to pick up on, and sometimes it's hard for guys and girls to pick up on those because you're kind of like. Wow, I really think this guy likes me or like this girl likes me or some shit. And then like they're just not interested at all. That's funny. That's when I think you got to kind of like uh, hint with like sort of subtle like flirts and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like emojis? It could be emojis. I... It could be like if you're talking to a girl, you hint with like a subtle like, I don't know. I feel like the only way that I figured out that guys were interested was when they asked a bunch of questions about myself over Snapchat. Like, what are you doing? Like, what is that? Blah, 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 blah. When do you think a guy's interested, though? Does he, like, send, like, the hard eyes or some shit like that? Or, like, oh, damn, like, you look good or some shit? Oh, God. No? <laughs> um, yes. I think when they use a lot of emojis, and then I'll nip that in the butt because I absolutely hate emojis. I think they're too much. But uh, for some reason, when people are flirting, they love, love emojis. What's, like, a good way for, like, a guy to... Send a snap to a girl, subtly hinting that like you're into her. Like, what would be like? Oh, like, that was like, really you cute. Look that, that yeah, you look really cute. You look really cute. Yes. Like if you're going out or something, like so yeah, it just sends like, oh, you're really like you look really cute today, something like that. Yes, and if you're gonna, yeah. if it's like the weekend, be like, I hope to see you later, like okay. kind of like that. So those are good subtle hints, and if they don't respond, or like, to that, what are you doing? Like, like, let's meet up, something, you know? Gotcha. Okay. Because I feel like guys are always like so like abrupt, like abrupt about it, and like they're always just like. You're like, damn, you look hot or something. <laughs> <laughs> that like that kind of goes back to a Tinder don't for like when the first message is, oh my God, you're so hot. Like, yeah. no shit, you swiped right. Like, you obviously don't think I look like a monster. Yeah. Like, you don't tell me, I know. That's true. Like, Tinder is a app based off like looks. The first message should just not be, you're so pretty. Like, figure something else out. That's true. I feel like you, like, you gotta kind of be creative when you're like talking to girls too. Because if they just hear the same shit all over, uh, like, over and over again, they're just kind of going to get bored, right? Yeah, I, I mean... Right? You want someone who's a little bit different and, like, a little bit... Like, not, like, so different, but, like, has some character about them. I need I need humor, for sure. In your bio and in your pictures and stuff, like, obviously your interests is, are, like, shown. Like, if you're a boy and you play sports, like, you have a picture of you, what, golfing, you have a picture of you skiing, something. Right. That's a way for... If a girl messages first, be like, oh... Like, I'm sorry that you like the Mets. Like, and then now you're talking about baseball. And but then, what about, like, on the other hand? Because girls only post photos of them with their family or in, like... I think you always With need other a, girls, like, going out. I think you always need to post a picture of your dog. Never the cat, though. Like, no one wants to see your cat. <laughs> <laughs> you can always talk about the dog. Okay. So bring I'm up a girl's like, dog. And be like, oh, like, if you have a dog, too. Like, this is my dog. And this is, like, something that you have in common. Like, I feel like striking yes. things that you have in common first is pretty important. Okay, so now uh, there's definitely a conversation that I had with this guy named David. In his bio, he, like, wrote that he, like, likes Chipotle or something like that, right? Yeah. So, like, on Bumble, you have to message first. So, like, I wrote 
scenario is we're at Chipotle, what are we ordering? A bowl or a burrito? Yeah. So like you have to take something from their bio, like their interest, and that's how you start a conversation. Not by saying you're pretty, not by saying hi, because mm-hmm. hi is just another blank space. Yeah. You have to take something from the bio and make a conversation. And I thought I was pretty good at that. That was good. What are we ordering if you're a Chipotle? A bowl or burrito? I'm a burrito guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't really like bowls, to be honest. No they one do likes give you, bowls. They, no, there's there's a lot of people that like bowls, but I, I I personally like the burrito. I like a burrito. But I feel like once you like get that too, it's also important to not stick on that one subject, right? But like you got to move from that because then that's all you have and the conversation is going to get boring. Yeah, I mean, obviously then like once that conversation's over, um, you can transition to anything. And maybe he'll ask me about my interest if he's not stupid. Right. And the girls obviously love talking about themselves all the time. Uh, yeah, right? exactly. So it's like, it's so important to put the conversation on the girls because then one, like guys, I guess is a like, good tip. Then then you don't have to talk as much. And then I think two, that's the best thing. Yeah. Girls are going to talk about it all the time. You have to remember like three things. Yeah. Just three, three things, things about them. And like girls love ranting and they love talking just like nonstop. So it's important that like you bounce off of what they're saying and then just like turn it into another question about themselves, right? <laughs> that's that it. It's like a like strategy. That, it's it almost is a strategy. Like you gotta read the girl and read the playbook, and then like you kind of have to like give your take on it. Like that's what it is. Okay. That's what dating is. Obviously, there's a level to like, wow, I actually like what she's talking about and stuff like that. But like, it's important to like make the girl feel like she's important and like that she is able to to come to you about like anything that she feels like she wants you to learn, right? True. It's like the first date thing, especially I feel like it's more like an interview. First dates are interviews. Yeah, yeah. Definitely an interview. Oh my God. Without you're like getting to like feel like, you know, <laughs> if you're like this guy, like if he's going to fit in well with you or like your friend group or your family and stuff like that. I have only been on good first dates. I haven't had any disaster dates yet. Well, that's pretty lucky then, Isn't I guess. That fun? <laughs> Actually, one of the first dates I had. They're like, also still pretty early on. True. Life, I'm. Pro- do you think I'm going to go on another one? Maybe. Probably not. Who knows? Let's Who knows see. the future is like the big, like we haven't really even hit the dating world yet, I would say, right? Like, if you think about God. it, like, we're, like, at the end of our college careers, and I feel like most people don't really go on, like, date dates until they're, like, have jobs, and they're out of college, and they're, like, living True. in an area, or, like, your own apartment. Like, right now, it's kind of just, like, the, hey, like, let's, like... It's, like, high school overall. Yeah, overall like, again. like, Netflix and chill, like, type thing. Like, that's, like, a date. I love dating in college. It was the best. <laughs> Yeah, well, dating college is nice because It was nice the easiest people, thing Because ever. girls don't have money and then they want to go out and then you get free food. That's not what it is. So what is it then? <laughs> it's just easy. It's so much fun. And you never have to go home. That's true. But like, what's like a date in college? I'm trying to think of one of my dates. Like you guys go get Chipotle and then come back and watch The Office. I'm trying <laughs> then, to think. <laughs> and, then, and then that's oh, it. Oh, God. <laughs> that's it? Jesus. That's like a college date. Like maybe not Chipotle. The amount of times I've gotten Chipotle and just ate it somewhere and called it a Maybe date. Maybe you guys go to like your dining hall and then you come back and watch like a movie or something like that. I feel like I've been on good dates in my college experience. I really have. I just can't think of any. That's like a date though, right? I get. Well, it is a date because that's all we can really do. Yeah. Get Chipotle and watch TV. Well, you can go on an actual date too, but it's kind of weird asking a girl like that you just first met on an actual date in college. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't like a lot of girls aren't. Dates. Yeah, like one, a lot of guys really aren't that like sophisticated where they able to like ask girls on dates like that. Like you know what I'm saying? Nor True. do they really want to. But like, <laughs> <laughs> you have to put in some work. But like, yeah, there's definitely a level of like you have to put in some work. I, I would agree with that. We're still stuck up on these date things. I've been on so many dates. Do you remember any? I haven't been on those dates. So why don't you oh, tell me the dates you, that you, you were on? You don't remember any of my personal dates. Well, didn't you go on a couple of dates when you were in your hometown with some of the guys? You and your friend, <laughs> you and your friend would go to those bars with those guys. You've been on yeah. Tinder. No, well, we made them on Tinder. That's a different. That's that's my girl. That's a date, though. That's okay. a date. Well, yeah, I went on a date with her. She was going out with this guy. Okay, yeah. She always meets these people. She finds them. I don't know. So my girl, we'll call her Sav, <laughs> <laughs> meets these people, and then I get dragged into it, pretty much. Yeah. So we went on this date with, she went on a date with a guy to a beer fest and burger fest. It was awesome. I like beer and I love burgers. Yeah. So obviously that I came like on. Time. She could bring a friend. I've never heard of bringing a friend on a date. It was kind of like a field trip and we went. He was old, der, not old, old. But that's like a way to make it less <laughs> awkward for the girl to go. It's like, yeah, hey, you oh, got a friend, a friend for my friend? I guess. 
So then we went on the date we got in. He paid for our tickets to get into the burger and beer right. fest. As soon as we cheap. got in. No, it wasn't. Yeah. As soon as we got in, we talked to them for like 20 minutes and freaking booked it. <laughs> and we just went around and got so messed up, like drunk, and met other people. And then that was that. So you didn't even end up dating with the guy that you were there? No. You met like other people? Yeah. Oh, wow. That sucks <laughs> for those guys. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, that's a does. real like kick in the nuts, I guess. <laughs> Could you imagine bringing two girls and they just leave? Well, what do you expect when you bring like two college girls who are just like, ah, free beer? <laughs> <laughs> Probably weren't even twenty one at the time. <laughs> I don't. No, I was twenty one. I'm old. Remember? Okay. So like, we're let's get back to flirting a little bit because that's where we kind of got off topic with. How do you like flirt over text and stuff like that? What are subtle hints to like flirt on like texting or like so you know like a guy's into you by compliments. But, okay. like, subtle ones. Subtle come Like, you guys are having a conversation about, like, your dogs or something like that. Yeah, I guess you can tell me my dogs are cute. Because they are cute. But that's not really a compliment towards you. No, I think, like, compliments towards me. Like, oh, like, I guess, like, you're, you look so cute or something. Or, like, something that I'm doing is, like, cute. What did I do? I had, like, a picnic the other day. He could have told me that was cute. Okay. So, subtle compliments. Like, maybe you see something, like, a photo on Snap or, like, Insta that they posted. And, like... Yes. Yeah? Yeah, my Instagram. When's it too early to comment on, like, a girl you're interested in, like... Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. Never do that. Never? Never, Girls ever. hate that? I think... That's so weird. The only people who are commenting on your Instagram are your five best friends. Yeah. And then random other girls that you're friendly with. And then some weirdo men from God knows where in the yeah. world. Mm-hmm. Being like, oh, damn. And then, like, a bunch of fire emojis. Yeah. That's it. No guy should ever be like... Unless he's making fun of you in a friendly way. Joking. Gotcha. gotcha. So like jokes on Instagram. Jokes but if you're Instagram. commenting on a girl's Instagram that you're into and like you have like she's never commented on yours, then like you might have to rethink about it. I think funny. <laughs> Take a couple steps back. If you're going to comment on the girl's Instagram, you have to make it a funny joke. Like okay, something yeah. funny about it. Yeah. Okay. I could see. Yeah, I could see that. Like a subtle, subtle making fun of her kind of thing. Do girls get like weirded out when, say, like you post like a story or something like that, and like you? Like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and a guy comments on the story. The guy that like, what is it? DMs the story. Yeah, back. DMs the story back, and it was like, wow, that's hilarious. That's happened like when you post like music or something. Like a, I posted a song or like whatever. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah. And he like DM me back, being like, "Wow, you're like this is so old. Like you're late to the game." And like we actually kind of had a conversation from that. He does mm-hmm. go to Sacred Heart. But that worked, I guess, for him. But I never actually met up with him. But we did have a conversation. Interesting. But if you are a random guy, which my DMs are just filled with random men saying God knows what. Yeah, guys are pretty ruthless with that. Getting poems from random men are also (laughs) great. I love a good poem. But DMing the story, the hard eyes are like hot or something. I've never responded to random people. Like the guy went to shoe, so Mm -hmm. I obviously responded to him. But other than that, no. All right, so kind of the way to wrap this up, what's the best way to tell, like, a girl is, like, super into you? Either over, like, texting or Snapchat or something. Like, what is something, like, a girl would say and then she would be, and then you'd be like, you wouldn't, you, maybe you wouldn't notice it, but, like, now, after listening to this, you'll notice that, wow, looking back, that girl was into me. Oh, well, definitely when she snaps you frequently and, like, has some sort of, like, word context in it, like, nothing blank. If a girl's, like, Snapchatting you blank pictures, mm-hmm. that's it. But if it's, like, words and you're actually having conversation yes if she's asking you what you're doing like on the weekend or when you're free yes if you're bonding over like netflix show or something like that and she's like oh you're watching breaking bad i love breaking bad invite her over to watch breaking bad that was like the biggest hint ever yeah just do that that's a big one actually so when a girl like, says a, like she she's loves like that saying show, a like, common like, interest like, like, oh, like that's totally it watch she it wants you together. to invite you over yeah like, invite over like and then that's like, yeah, that the ball's in your court then. Yeah. Yeah. Because girls aren't going to be like so out there. It where can even like, be pasta. She, if you're making yeah. pasta and you send her a picture of your dinner and she's like, oh my God, I love pasta. Then you're like, oh, you should come over and make it with me sometime. So when girls Don't. say they love anything. If they're saying over. like, I like <laughs> this and I'm interested in what you're doing, be like, okay, we can do this together. Girls love doing things together. Yeah. <laughs> you always got to do it together. So that's, that's what I think of that. Okay. I think that's pretty helpful for a lot of people then. Thank you, Allie, for joining us uh, for a second time, a reoccurring guest. You're uh, welcome. We appreciate you coming on. Hope everyone's staying safe and have a good night. All right, everyone, that's it for us this week. Thanks for listening to Shit I'd Never Tell My Parents. Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>